Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the demo for Vorax. Uh, yeah, I, I obviously uh, am doing a do over here. Uh, when I played it uh, the other day and did a video, I guess I didn't really give it the right amount of, like, uh, you know, real care to it. I just kind of played it a little bit, tried it out, didn't really kind of, like, hit like a happy medium with it so I just said screw it and then I stopped and you know what I got called out for it and uh, not necessarily in a way that made me you know take it seriously or in the best way and it turned into this kind of like weird internet pissing match uh, that I don't want to do because that's just ridiculous uh, so what I did is I took that feedback and I decided I would come back and play this a little bit more and actually try to show people kind of like stuff that I missed and because I didn't really play enough to actually do anything. And the thing that I've learned to do is building. I got the lights turned on in this building. When nighttime is coming, I think. I'm not sure when nighttime is actually going to get here. Um, but when it gets here, we're, we're, you know, maybe there'll be something and boarding up this building will have make, made sense. I've only boarded up some of the things because I am still going to want to get back in here. Uh, I'm going to go back downstairs. I'm trying to find a code to get into this like place outside, and I haven't been able to find it. I don't know where the code is. Um, I've checked like everywhere for notes that I could find, but it's just not... Where, wherever this uh, secret note is that I need for the code outside for a door full of storage wherever that note is it is hidden quite well I don't really think it's hidden I think I just straight up haven't been able to figure out where it is I don't know it's beeping I'm hoping it's my helmet telling me that it's fully charged sweet all right well I'm gonna go downstairs like I said into the tunnel This what I did last time, but I like couldn't figure out where my dang flashlight was because I completely forgot where it was. Oh, I think I found a flashlight. You know, it doesn't matter. They tell you where the flashlight is in the beginning. I should not have forgotten where it was because it's kind of a rookie mistake on my end. Not really a rookie mistake. That's just straight up laziness on my end. We'll say that. Wood box. Uh, I think I can break it with a knife. Nope. Uh, maybe it's a hatchet. I will say the flashlight's pretty decent. Uh, a lot of these... A lot of games that I've been playing lately with flashlights have really awful flashlights, so I, I will say this one is pretty good. I can actually see a decent amount of uh, distance. I can kind of see where I'm going. Well, I can see where I'm going, obviously, but I would say it's pretty decent. I don't want metal components. I don't want a lot of, want a lot of wood. I'm expecting there to be like, oh wait, I think downstairs is a uh, creepy monster somewhere down here. Yeah. Yeah, those things are kind of cute, but. This guy has, um, there's a lot of recoil. For the pistol, which. I don't know. I mean, I've shot an M9 before, and you know what? I will say there is a little bit more recoil than you might expect. Two fuses. Oh, that was easy. We have power. No more flashlight for this guy. So I do have like all those mission objectives, uh, but I don't really, you know, like 
there's supposed to be, uh, you know, the monster that happens at night. Like, I'm not really sure what activate or play does. We are analyzing the images oh, that's what it does. Sends us. Inspect the house. The drone saw a survivor take refuge inside. Perhaps a soldier. Look for him. He may have useful information on the location of the missile launcher. See, that dude tells me to get some explosives, which I may have to create my own explosives because I haven't found any yet. other door and I think I honestly have enough of the things that I would actually need to put, build the explosive so I guess uh, I guess the thing to do is to go back upstairs actually build the thing and then um, you know kind of go from there all right my dudes let's go and uh, do the thing and make this at least a little bit more interesting than the last time Only two o'clock. Wow. Never gonna be nighttime with this guy. All right. I forgot that you do need to eat and drink. Which, yep, I have some food. I'm glad we don't need can openers. Uh, otherwise, I'd be in kind of like out of luck. I think I've, I think I took all the food that I found too. Yeah. All right, so we have our crafting station, uh, which is on projectiles, metal components, metal nires, none, a scrap grenade. But I mean, I have some actual legit grenades, so. I'll, I'll make some, just, I guess, uh, to be on the safe side. Explore the nearby cavern. That's... I think that's actually what I'm supposed to do. Yeah, barricade the outermost entrance of the, the house, zero to three. But, like, I've, I've done two of those. Uh, so I don't know if it's just, like, it's not going to activate until I've done all three of them. Because there's one... There's two. Here's the third, which I've been waiting. Because uh, I still have to go in and out. Um, I do wish it was a little bit more clear as far as like... Alright, okay, there's a cave that I need to go to. That's super helpful. I don't know where the cave is. Explore the nearby cavern. Neat. But I, I don't know where it is. Uh, I don't. I don't know if it's. It can't possibly be pointing me to the cavern down here because that wouldn't make any sense. It was just down there, so it, I don't believe it's that. It's got to be somewhere like with rocks. It's you know, and it's probably this way over here. That might be it. I do wish the game was a little bit uh, more user friendly when it comes to actually like finding where things are because like I, I am somebody who's pretty terrible with directions so if I try to find something and I try to figure out where to go um, it, it's not impossible that I'm going to get completely lost and I don't think these are the caves well that one's caved in this is more like a tunnel well, you know what whatever we're gonna we're gonna try it uh, are you friendly? I maybe careful from foxes. Foxes typically carry rabies out in the wild if they get near you. It's 
seems like something exciting will happen. Uh, no, no, it's wrong. Ooh, look at this guy. He's kind of cute. Yeah, big old live balls. Is he gonna throw that at me? Uh, is he? I don't know. I want to get a look at him, but I don't want to get like hit with the car. Ah. Uh. <laughs> He's so cool looking, he's like a like, little baby monster, it's like, uh... Oh, I wonder if we can jump in his mouth. Oh, can I save it? No. Uh, yeah, you know what? What's the worst that happens, right? Oh, bad. Alright, so we cannot jump in his mouth because he gets very upset. And now my face is all dirty. I don't think that's gonna work. I'm gonna take off my helmet. Uh, I don't know. It went through my helmet and it's all over my eyeballs. I can't tell if it's like spit or or what it is. I think I guess it's probably my health is bad. Eh, no, it's not that. It's like I got some kind of goo stuff all over my face. I don't actually think I've... There's not a button that I know of that, uh... Wipes your face. Yeah, nope. There's nothing about wiping your face. Uh... Gas mask, tactical vision... Okay, well... I guess this is my life now. No, actually, maybe I can use a cloth. Oh, eh, that doesn't do it either. Man, come on. Not a bandage, not a curative one, it's not a curative powder. <sighs> Crafting stuff that I don't have room for. I think I might be able to make a room because I kind of want this bow. Uh, no, get out of this. Oh, I think he retreated. No, he's still there. All right. All right, I have no idea how to like fix this gooey crap all over my face. Um, I definitely do not see something that would allow me to do so. Um, whoops. I, I don't know where the cave is, because I thought that was the cave. It's obviously not the cave. That's where the weird baby giant monster lives. Uh, like something out of, like, Cloverfield. But... It's cool. We will uh, kind of go back and... Uh, maybe if we stare at the rain, that'll help. I'm just going to go upstairs and sleep. Maybe that'll do it. Yeah, I don't... I don't know. <laughs> it's a little unfortunate, because, uh, obviously this is... this is not what I had envisioned. Um, but, like I said, if there's an option to clear your face, it is not listed. Crafting, tactile vision, it's not that. It's not the gas mask. Um, I don't have any consumables that I know of that will clean it. Um, I didn't see anything that I could craft that would fix it. Can't interact with it. I, I, I don't know, like, how to fix that. <laughs> so, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to... I'm going to go up here, I'm going to build this last barricade, and I'm just going to go to sleep and see if when he wakes up it kind of fixes the issue. Yeah, I think I poisoned. Uh, so actually, so that's probably what it is. They do seem to be... Um, 
losing health. Oh, that's that's exactly what it was. I I it was um I was like poisoned essentially. It was really definitely was not um, super clear. Uh, unless there was something somewhere that I missed, which is also possible. Yeah, we'll take the pills. Pills will work, right? Pills fix everything. Uh, yeah. All right. Oh man, just like that, my time is actually up. I gotta go pick up my girlfriend. Uh, she is in need of a ride, so we'll save it here. Oh, so you can't actually sleep. Um, all right, well, so you know, I didn't get actually to nighttime. It seems like time just kind of goes. So, with a little bit more exploration and kind of seeing some different stuff, um, you know, I will still say that this may not quite be. For me just yet. I think I'm going to have to wait until this is a bit further along in development because uh, there's still like a lot of kind of weird bugs and glitches that I run into. Um, that and I really wish I had enough stuff to uh, heal myself a bit more so that you weren't all sub subjected to this weird goo stuff all over my face. But in any case, uh, that's it. Like, uh, this is uh, hopefully a better video for Vorax than the uh, first time I did it. And, um, yeah. So, uh, we got to see a little bit of building, kind of, sort of. Uh, I shot some things. We got to see the giant baby monster. And, um, yeah. I did some stuff. So, it's that. If you happen to come back, if you came here from the first video and you did a follow-up, thanks for coming back to check out the follow-up. Uh, if it's your first time seeing uh, my video on Vorax, just watch this one, skip the other one. And uh, if you like this, please um, consider trying the demo yourself. And if you like it, wishlist it. Thanks for watching.